question. Can you explain what internet is? Yes, I love technology. Pretty amazing. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Hey guys, Mr. Ogden here. Today we're going to learn about creating stories. So once you log into Google Classroom, you're going to read through this information here. And you're first going to start by watching this tutorial video I'm creating right now. Then you're going to watch Getting Started with Storyboard That. Then you're going to also look at this storyboard uh, visual. And we'll talk more about this in class. And then eventually you're going to make your way to storyboardthat.com. So the purpose of my tutorial will be mainly to talk about this storyboardthat.com because we have to make our accounts. So when you get into storyboardthat.com, you're going to want to click on my account. And then you're going to select I'm a new user. So now over here in this area, you're going to include your name, your username. So what you want to do is just put your four letters or numbers um, that you'd use to sign in the, to the computer. So if that was my four letters or numbers, I would use that. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to do mine. So after you put your four letters or numbers, go ahead and put your email address. You're going to use your same four letters. So if these were my letters, I would use those letters or numbers, and I would put at fresnou.com. But since those aren't mine, I'm going to include my own email. Do your password, the same exact password that you use to log into the computer. I'm going to do my own password. So again, use that same exact password. You can deselect this so they don't email. Select that you've read the terms and conditions and then click register. <clears throat> then you're going to click on create a storyboard at the top here. The other tutorial video will show you how to use. Uh, this uh, how to use storyboard that in more detail but the first thing I want to remind you of is that you need to click on storyboard layout and click over here on the right title sale and description so you're going to want to add sales so click on add sales down here and add three more right below it so I have three up down there and three up here so that's what we want so in order to know what's to put for your slides you need to go back to Google Classroom and look up this information right here. It tells you box one, two, three, four, five, and six, exactly what you need. So the first one, you're going to uh, title this exposition, which is the character and uh, setting, which is what we talked about. So you can even copy that by pressing, holding down control and pressing C, going back to your storyboard, click here to edit the title, and then Hold down control and press V. There we go. That's our going to be our first box. Down here uh, in the description, you're going to need to write two to three sentences. So you will write two to three complete sentences about what is going on in your story. So that, that'll be down there. Now down here is where you can drag and drop everything. So if you wanted to choose your own story or movie, that's fine. I am going to choose the one we talked about in class, so Lion King. So it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but uh, there's a lot of good stuff here in outdoor. So let's say I wanted to use one of these for outdoor. I just simply drag and drop. All right, and you can resize it and do different things. You can crop it. Let's say I wanted to go closer to that image. You can press this button right here. This is a crop button. And now I can crop this and drag these. And let's say I wanted this, these trees to be closer. So I just do that, cut off that bottom part, and click Crop Image. So now it's cropped it. Now I can click and stretch it and drag it. And now it's a little bit closer of a shot. 
up top here you can click on characters and then over here click animals and now you can start dragging and dropping Simba and Mufasa or whatever uh, you may like you can rotate rotate buttons left and right let's say that was Mufasa I, there's not a, I don't think there's a small no there's not there's not a small uh, lion or baby lion so you can just use the big one again and then uh, shrink it and there we go that's flip them around there's Simba so if you want to have them talking you can click on textables and drag and drop some of these in here and make them bigger and then maybe you put that there close to Simba and Simba says hi dad and let's choose another one let's choose this one and here is Mufasa saying hi son now listen to these things I'm about to tell you there we go so now we have our first slide done so now your second one will be rising action your third box will be rising action two so these are both problems that occur in the story climax for box four following action for box five and resolution for box six so when you're done with it you'll have one two three four five six boxes done with titles in each and two to three sentences at the bottom in each description so let's say we're all done and I've got all of my boxes done let's just say I've done them all now you want to click save here in the bottom and you're gonna title this so you just would title it Lion King storyboard storyboard is one word and then you can click save so here is your storyboard saved and of course you would have all six done and it gives you some some uh, options down here so what we're going to do is you're going to download the images and then you're going to then upload that to google classroom so if you click download it'll download to your computer so then you go back to Google Classroom you're gonna open up your assignment and you're going to find the pictures that you just downloaded and then you're gonna add those pictures and then turn it in if you need any help let me know otherwise that's what we're working on thanks